The one experience that actually pushed me to decide to choose head and neck cancer as a subspecialty in otolaryngology was actually my own father. Uh, he was diagnosed with uh, larynx cancer, cancer of the voice box, when I was actually a second year uh, resident uh, in otolaryngology, uh, pretty young and still trying to decide what I, what I wanted to do. Uh, and I thought that it was sort of a, uh, a kick in the rear uh, to, to be pushed into that direction. I haven't regretted the decision since. I think patients come in uh, scared and they, they, uh, they've gone on the internet or have uh, friends or family members who have had head and neck cancer and they, they definitely are afraid of uh, what's in store. I think the uh, technology, uh, particularly that we can provide here at the University of Iowa, uh, is allowing us to uh, treat their cancer either surgically or non-surgically in ways that, will, uh, that are, are light years ahead of where we were in the past. Patients should come to the University of Iowa because uh, we offer unparalleled health care across the medical and surgical specialties. Uh, specifically in otolaryngology and uh, head and neck cancer care, uh, we're able to provide patients uh, with uh, the breadth of management, uh, both surgical and non-surgical, um, in my field in, in surgery, uh, as well as in medical oncology and radiation oncology. The passion I bring every day is uh, the opportunity to work with new uh, patients every day and, and try to make their lives better.